So today I'm gonna show you how to get the RF film look in the range Resolve. And the footage that we're gonna use, I filmed this on the Sony Log 3, this is S Log 2. So I'm gonna show you how we're gonna work in the RF color space in the range Resolve and that is really easy. So I don't want you guys to go away from the video because uh, the tip that I'm showing you guys is really amazing. I need you guys to stick to the very end. There's something amazing I wanna show you guys that we're gonna, that's gonna blow your mind. So guys, I need you to stick around so that you can see all this step. All right, we're gonna jump into the range Resolve, the color page. Uh, so now, as you can see, we have one node but i have already stretched the entire node that you guys can get on my website what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna click drag and drop and then there we go so one thing that you have to keep in mind if you want to work in the re color space is that you need to create two color space transform so the first one that you're gonna create is gonna be your color space in then the second one you're gonna do is your color space out don't worry guys i'm gonna explain all that out so we're gonna go on the color space in and then we're gonna go to effects you're gonna drag and drop our color space transform and now we're gonna apply the same settings that we did on our camera so i'm gonna go to sony cine and then i'm gonna go to s log 2 because this was shown in s log 2 on the sony and then now we're gonna have to transform and tell the vince out like hey listen now we're gonna do our grading in the re color space all right so now we're gonna change to re white dimmer 3 and then we're gonna go to i think log c3 i think this is good and then now we're gonna go to the now we're gonna go to the color space out now we're gonna also apply the color space transform and then we're gonna go to our white white gaming 3 and then we're gonna go to input demo we're gonna apply our log c3 we're gonna change the entire footage to rec 79 and then now we need to apply one of the definitions of lights that come. It's really an amazing preset that you can use. But you need to know how you could have used it. Right? I'm going to show you guys. So now we're going to go to a Sinion Film Lock. Just going to tap that on. Scroll down. There we go. And you can see the footage is just flat. So what we need to do now, we need to come right here on the on the lights. And then you're going to go Film Light. And I think the one that I used this one. So there's a couple of them. It depends on the kind of look that you want. But for this one, I think I'm going to use this. All right. So I'm going to bring it right here. Boom. There we go. So we're getting our images a little bit washed out. It's gonna look like black and white, but don't worry about that. There are a couple of things that we're gonna. All right, so here comes the good part. So we're gonna go to the saturation and I'll bring it there. And you're gonna go color space. We're gonna use HL3, HL, we're gonna use HCL. Sorry, guys. All right, we're gonna go down channel. You're gonna remove channel two, Y, then you're gonna go to channel three and we're gonna remain of channel two. And we're gonna come on again. We're gonna crank that up. And then look what is happening. We're getting some good color in there. And this is looking good. Just gonna play, just gonna play a little bit and see what we're getting. All right, so guys, don't worry about why it's looking this way. There's thing that we need to do. We have to go to our exposure. We're gonna bring down the shadows. Just also pay attention to the to our parade. You're gonna bring it down. Just gonna keep it on a little bit. There we go. We're also gonna work the contrast, just add a little bit of contrast because the contrast help you to have more details and more quality into your video. So we're gonna crank that up a little bit. So here comes the good part that you guys need to keep in mind is the CC. I could have done this, but the, the reason why they didn't touch it, I wanted you guys to see how it's gonna transform the entire image. So we're gonna come on the CC with the CC is the color color correction. So on the CC, I'm gonna come on again. I just by checking on my parade and see what is it that I need to fix. I'm getting a lot of uh blue color in there. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna have to bring that just this down a little bit and look at what we are getting. So the reason why we're getting this is because we've applied uh, one of the lights from DaVinci Resolve. So you need to know how you're going to play with them because you are working in the RE color space. So we're going to bring it down. We're going to bring, uh, just going to bring it down. Also just check your parade if all things are good. Going to bring the blue also a little bit. Going to bring the red just sort of like, yeah. Want to just increase a little bit of blue, bring it out. Ah, there we go. I feel like this is good for me. So now we have your saturation. If that thing that you want to change, uh, the reason why I don't want to mix my saturation and you just that uh, every time I need to go back, I need to know what is that I'm going to fix. So I'm going to go back on you. I'm going to check it out down there. So we have you versus you. So you need to check like you have some trees here. So the trees just, just stairs around the green here. 
So if you click here and then you will bring them down, you are getting a little bit of uh, things changing in the background, I think. For now, I don't want to have too much, I think, like, yeah, it's good. And uh, also one thing that I can do with the skin tone, we're not getting really the, the face, and I think that is good, we're going to leave it up. So if you can see, I have the CG, which turn for color grading. This is me just doing my own thing, guys, don't worry about that. So we have the CG. What are you going to do here? If you want to add anything that you feel like you want to add more grading onto this image, you can do that it's not a bad thing it should it just depends how creative you want to create your own thing so i'm just gonna maybe bring it up a bit because i love warm images like really i really love warm so i'm gonna come on the second one and then maybe we can just add a little bit of on the game on the game i just also just trying to add a bit and just a little bit of green in there i'm not doing green kind of low because everyone's going for that this is the kind of look that I always do. You can check out my Instagram and you will believe me. All right, just sort of a bit, just add a bit of warm. All right, there we go. So this is, we can see before and after, before and after. Now we have the shadow. So this node, I always keep it in my shadow just to add more details. Cause I can tell you guys, one thing about color grading really happens in the shadows. If you pay attention to that. So we're going to go on the log wheel. We're going to come here in the shadows. If we crank the blue and as you guys to pay attention to what is happening, we're getting that fade image right in there. I'm going to bring it up, go down on the blue. I don't want it too much. Just sort of a little bit. Bring it good yet. Yeah. All right. Let's see before and after before and after just want to bring it down just a bit too much one thing that you can also do you can come right here on the key out you're gonna bring it out until you feel what's good for you i feel like this is good for me but i, I want to add a little bit of uh contrast to this because it's kind of looking flat so i'm gonna bring this up just a little bit and also bring out my my gain and i'm bring it out just cut off some highlight all right all right and then so now you can we can add this additional thing that you guys know aliations and all that and then we're gonna add some film grain because you can get this um this entire workflow on my website because i don't know you guys should go buy the entire thing and just tap in that you can use this in whatever project you have all right i'm gonna bring it right here change the i'm gonna change the grain Presets, I'm gonna go like this one. Just bring down the stitches, increase the size a bit, strength down, and boom, there we go. Guys, this was really simple. So it's just up to you guys how creative that you want to do this. So, guys, keep in mind whenever you're doing your color grading, you need to know that the color corrections is what changes everything and also the details that you're gonna add. And before you do anything, do your research real well, look out for images, watch a short film, and then just get ideas from that. And I hope I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. Enjoy.